Thanksgiving. It's just three days away, which is crazy. Uh, but that also means many will be stuffing their faces with juicy turkey, cranberry sauce, maybe some sweet potato pie, you know, with the marshmallows on top. Uh, but of course, you should try to avoid overdoing it, right? Because you definitely want to fit dessert. That's right. Uh, today in Eat Right, Live Well, we show you how much you should be putting on your plate. Hey guys, we're back here with Katie Sampaio. She's an author, she's a trainer, and she's a nutrition expert. She's the author of her number one best-selling book, Eat to Thrive, the Anti-Diet Cookbook. I'm all about anti-diet, so her cookbook I have to buy because it's going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, but Katie, the holidays, they're here. Yes. And um, what do people like to do during the holidays? They like to eat, and they yep. like to eat a lot. Mm -hmm. But that's not, not always the best thing, right? No, not if you're actually trying to stay in shape and you don't want to feel like crap the next right. day. Right. So I'm going to show you some tips today on how you can portion control your Thanksgiving meal okay. without the measuring spoons, mm -hmm. without all the tools, because yeah. we're not going to bring Nobody those to the table. We're not doing no. that. No. We can just easily, easily gauge it. I'm going to teach you some really quick tips that I have outlined in my portion control cheat sheet, which I give to all my clients. So you guys can always message me at katiesampow.com if you want that. So just know that. I have a contact form there. Mm -hmm. But so let's get into the Thanksgiving plate. Okay. Like what's appropriate mm -hmm. and what's not if you actually care about the portions. So this is the typical size plate, right? Right. It's pretty big. It's like as big as my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> so the first thing, if you want to trick your brain, and this is a pretty simple trick, you use a smaller plate because Psychologically, we want the whole plate to be, to be full. full. That's, that's what just, Thanksgiving is all about. Yeah, you know, fullness. Mm -hmm. You know, we we want it to also be aesthetically pleasing. Sure. We don't want a bare plate. It looks kind of like eh, right? Right. So we just go for the smaller plate. So I have a plate here that is actually a really good size to use. I use these plates all the time when I eat. This is great for general portion control too. The smaller plate, fill it all the way up. Okay. You'll feel more satisfied. It's going to trick your brain immediately. Tip number one. Okay. Number two. So now we have a bunch of sides here. Okay. So this is how your Thanksgiving plate might. Look, so we have the turkey, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the protein source. So when you're measuring protein, take your fist, okay? Measure that. That is about how much protein that you should eat. So if you have a really? bigger fist, if you're a man, for instance. So that's uh, basically perfect for the both of us because yes, we've got pretty we have small similar ones. Fists. For a yeah. guy, it might be doubled because your fist is bigger. So right. that's the great part about that is that it's dynamic. So no matter who you are, you're going to eat the right portion because it's individualized to you and sure. the size of your fist. Okay. So know that for the protein, for any protein in general, size of your fist, this is around three to four ounces for me and you. For okay. a man, it's typically around six to seven ounces of protein got is it. what you want. But again, you can use your fist. Okay. Now, as far as the vegetables go, so we have some, some vegetables and carbs here. Vegetables, you can always go in on. I like to measure vegetables by handfuls for salad. So two big handfuls is typically one serving of veggies. So when you measure that out on a plate, go ahead, two big handfuls, throw it on there. But with vegetables, you really can't go wrong. Sure. Okay, it's more the fruit. So for the fruit, I have the cranberry sauce here. Fruit is great for you, lots of fiber, but also a lot of sugar. And that's why you see bodybuilders and stuff, they usually cut fruit completely out of their diet. Wow. Because they just don't want the sugar. Mm -hmm. So when you are eating it, you want to make sure that it's a smaller portion than everything else on the plate. So okay. for the cranberry sauce, it's just a little bit. It's right. equal the less to, sugar, the better. The less basically. sugar, the better. It's about the size of like a racquetball, if you want ah, to okay. scope it that way. Or like a golf ball. Like a or... golf ball. Yeah. For the cranberry sauce. So if you put your uh, your index finger and your thumb together, you can measure that. That's also how you're going to want to measure cheese. Yeah, I would say that's probably a good heaping of a tablespoon that you can just put yeah. right on your plate. That's like, like two that tablespoons. Like. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Yeah. If you, if you think of it that way. So that's going to be your cranberry sauce. Okay. And then we're going to go to the potatoes. So for the carb, what you want to do is you can measure the inside of your hand. Mm -hmm. Because again, if you're a bigger person, you can typically eat more carbs. So that's going to adjust for you too. And what I also like to do is, as a reference, is use an apple. So if it's about the size of an apple, that's a, a good amount of carbs for you. So okay. we have the potatoes here. Just know inside of your hand, if it could fit in there, or the size of an apple roughly, mm -hmm. is about the size of the carbs that you want. Okay. And then we have fresh root vegetables here, which we have some sweet potatoes, which are another form of carb. So again, it's about the same size. That's mm -hmm. why I did that. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you could eat a little more of this than the potatoes, just because you have the beets and the other, and the carrots right. in it. So do you call this, because this is actually cauliflower. This is. And so you can still call it cauliflower potato? Yeah. Or you're just saying anything. You I'm saying the cauliflower, the potato, because some people might just 
just want to yeah. have the potatoes or Most the sweet people, potatoes. Yeah. Marshmallows on top, that's my favorite. That's delicious. And that's what we're going <laughs> to want to do, like the small the amount. The smaller for the amount for the marshmallows. Exactly. Yes. But I was just saying, just for like, because most people are going to have normal potatoes, mm -hmm. you're going to want around that size. Okay. For a cauliflower potato, double it. Let's okay. be honest. Okay. But I don't think a lot of people would actually be eating that. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great, On right? That's already gonna be healthier. Right. But if you're eating the right. real stuff, that's this is the way to really measure the real stuff. Okay. okay. So those are my quick tips. Make sure that you can use this for protein, okay. inside for carb, this for cheese and fruits like the cranberry sauce mm -hmm. and, and dried fruits is what I mean by that as an appetizer and then for your salad two big handfuls or you can kind of go all in on it depending if there's cheese in it or not right. limit that of course right. but th those are easy ways in general for Thanksgiving mm -hmm. to measure your portions and just in general life right and these are healthier options you guys if you just want to go all out on Thanksgiving you want to have the turkey you want to have the homemade cranberry you want to have a big scoop of mashed potatoes with the gravy on top, go for it. But you know what? It's all about the portion control. You don't yeah. need six huge heapings of food on that plate because that's just not good for anybody. You'll overeat. No. You'll have no room for dessert. And who wants that, right? I want dessert. I want dessert, So that's too. why I portion control this, so I also have room for dessert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Katie, thank you so much. So helpful, as always. And uh, definitely going to keep these tips in mind for Thanksgiving. Yeah, so with that, again, I talked about my portion control cheat sheet. That's usually only for people in my programs. But if you go to my website, email me, go to my contact form, let me know that you saw me here today. I will mail that to you for free. So go ahead, go to my website, put your name in to my contact me, tell me that you saw me today, and I'll get you that portion control cheat sheet just in time for the holidays. Email her. She's yep. good. KatieSamPio.com. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Yeah.